tea, Chris? Yes, thanks, Was. What type of tea would you like? Assam Bold. Assam Bold. A bold tea for bold gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> In a previous episode of TRU, the boys decided to push the limits on what had been done with thylacine and its vocalisations before by setting up a sound blasting experiment. They hiked into a spectacular gorge in northern central Tasmania as the experimental site. There, they set up the equipment consisting of a smartphone to play the sound files, a headphone amplifier and a dock to broadcast out the sound. They used a collection of sounds, including the one used in a previous TRU video series from a documentary, as well as vocalisations collected and generated by Woz from eyewitness accounts and dog sounds supplied by our Facebook and YouTube followers. The sounds were broadcast out into the gully, and then the gully was scanned with a parabolic microphone listening for bounce-back vocalisations that could indicate thylacine or large predator activity. In this episode, the limits are again pushed as Woz and Chris use a GoPro Hero 3 camera to construct a den cam and examine a likely looking den for evidence of thylacine. One of the key differentiators of TRU is our innovative use of technology. We're constantly pushing the limits with the technology available to us to prove whether the thylacine is extinct or extant. And today we're taking it up a notch. We're using our GoPro cameras to create a den cam so that we can analyse what's down this burrow. What we've set up here is a GoPro den cam. And so we've got the GoPro that's going to beam via Wi-Fi to the app on Warren's phone. We've got an LED torch that is going to light up the den as we post the camera down. And I've got it attached to my 2.4 metre road boom pole that I use for booming my microphone. So just going to turn the torch on. Working more? Yes, I'm now blind, Chris. Awesome. I was more talking about the app. Oh, yes, the app is working. Okay. I can see what's coming out of that uh, um, den cam. Yep, I'm just going to go with the uh, record. Okay. Are you seeing it on the preview? Not yet, It's, it's about 20 to 30 seconds behind. Okay, so you're only just moving around there now. Okay. Okay. Uh, just can you just lift it up the, the the end of it up? No, no. The just same depth, same depth, but because it's, uh, I'm just trying to work out what it is that I actually see in there. It's a boulder just there. Yeah. Okay. So just take it, take it in. Okay, so take it to the right, down and to the right. That way? Yep, and, and lift the, the head up. Okay, so now it needs to go down. Yep. Okay, just... Oh, oh, oh. Hmm. Yeah, I can see the dirt floor. The torch has come adrift. case. Don't try this at home. Four hundred dollar torch getter. <laughs> <laughs> That's 
a little bit more secure. Take two. Okay. Um, okay, so we're right. Yep. Can you see the den? I can see the den. Okay. So yeah, you just want to just take it nice and slowly because you just start. You're obviously a bit in front of me. Mm -hmm. Okay. So need to go the the tip down. Tip down. Um, okay. If you just low, lower your hands towards the ground, both your hands towards the ground. So it's on the ground there. Yeah. Um, Okay, maybe if you, you lift it up and then swivel it around to the right. Okay, can you lift, lift it up a bit? Okay, okay lift it down a bit. Down. down a bit more and then um, okay so just push it forward if you can yeah it's hard to tell whether you're actually filming the, the roof or the ground uh, the wall I'm guessing yeah okay can you move it further around to the left that's about as far as I can go yeah okay without getting the pole to bend Okay, well, I think that, that pro it's it's quite a large area in there, but I think I think it's empty. Mm -hmm. Right. A good use of technology and probably proof of concept more than a categoric sort of investigation of this den but ultimately was suggested that it was empty and I think we can move on to the next one.